What's up, folks? We are here with more wrestling talk here. As I said, I'm a huge wrestling fan. Um, just want to talk about a couple things that happened over the last weekend, over the weekend. Um, whew, boy, man, that AEW and Chris Jericho stuff, my God, it is horrendous. I, I can't say that enough. I cannot say it enough how bad it is. And... Like I said, Osprey, I'm a fan. I'm interested to see what they do with him and Swerve. I hope it's something good. I hope they're building to something good, not just a whole bunch of goofy stuff where they go through a whole bunch of tables and break other furniture and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be a good a good mix. I can't say much else about the program because I was in and out of sleep watching it, honestly. Jericho totally put me out of it i'm like jesus he yeah i just wanted to just turned it off once i saw him it was over with after that but um with clash of the castle and that was this past saturday that wwe put on boy oh boy it was a botch fest i mean my goodness i mean it should have been an indicator when i don't know if um i don't know if everyone noticed but at the beginning of aj styles and cody rhodes how AJ was talking to the referee, like, hey, sum up with these ropes. Do some up, just sum up with the ropes. And they didn't do anything about it. And we had people falling, people getting hung up, all kinds of stuff. I mean, I was I was glad when when Jade slipped on the ropes. She 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 slipped and just fell into the ring. You know, she she didn't get hung up on anything like Priest did, which looked kind of scary. It almost reminded me of a Malucha a Luchador when he was wrestling he got hung up on a rope but he folded his leg and folded his leg backwards so i'm glad that didn't happen to him i'm glad no one was like injured you know what i'm saying because of the ropes but anyway the um cody and aj good match i had a good time watching that it was entertaining the ending felt a little flat though because i'm like he just gonna quit because he picked up the stairs i'm like eh. okay all right but all in all good match um Next match after that were the um the next match after that. Who who fought after that? Who was the match after that? I can't remember who exactly was that was. Oh well. Anyway, but um the um tag team match with um Jay Bianca, um the girls who were from the over there where they were at Clash of the Castle and Shayna Baszler and um shoot Zoe Stark. Whew, match, match was a little hard to watch. Um, just being honest, it was a little hard to watch. But it, it it was it was a good feat of strength when Jade had both the girls and she did a a um did a follow away did a follow away slam and some more and drop with one on her back. So that that was that was pretty cool. And the little nip up there was all right. But yeah, that that match was it, it was it was a little tough. And I didn't, I didn't expect JD Bianca to lose so soon, but I guess that's how I guess it's trying to how they're gonna build towards them having their having their match at WrestleMania. So that, that's that. Hey, it is what it is. I think they made the right call there by switching the titles though from them because they're both more single stars than they are tag team stars. Um, after that, it was um, Bailey and Piper Niven. Who Piper? She's in, she's been impressive. I, I liked her in NXT. I went back and watched her in NXT, and I like NXT Europe. I liked her over there, and she put on a show. Bailey bumped around for real good. Um, she did. Yeah, she Bailey Bailey just been tossed all over the place. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> and she bumped around real good and got a, got a little sneaky win. So I I figured as much they're gonna let Bailey hold on to the title for a little longer. But that match was okay. I mean, parts of it were hard to watch. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, okay, I think they forgot what they were doing at some point, And then they got back to it. But all in all, okay. Not not the best match, but not the worst match either. Um, and then after that, it was Priest and Drew McIntyre. Man, I, I can say I've been a fan of Drew since he was a chosen one way back way back when i was a fan of him then before he bulked up so watching him man, I, I i thought for sure he was gonna win until 
he put so much emphasis on him. We're like, yeah, he ain't lo he, he losing. Now, so so he's like, he has to win because his wife was in the hospital. I'm like, no, nah, he ain't winning. Not tonight. He's not going to win tonight. And he didn't. Um, but yeah, that uh, when Priest did a dive over the top rope, first of all, I'm like, when did you start doing that? When you you little tall guy? Most of the time, they don't do go for those dives. But that was scary to watch his foot get hung up. It was, I was glad it was his ankle and it wasn't his leg because, man, that could have been a real bad injury. But that match, all in all, was it was it was solid. Drew recovered from it when he got, you know, when um when Priest got hung up in the ropes. And Drew made made some out of it. So that that goes to show that yeah, he's a professional and he he knows what he's doing. Like, okay, even out of a bad situation, let's make the best of it. So it did that and and as the match was coming to an end and CM Punk came out and stopped counting for Drew, that was uh that that I that feud right there, man. Drew and CM Punk. That's gonna be something to watch. That one is gonna be very entertaining. Because they both are Drew's got so much better on the mic. CM Punk's always been good on the mic. And man, they, that's gonna be good to see. Um so yeah, Clash of the Castle, it was wasn't the worst pay-per-view. Definitely not the best, not gonna lie about that. But it was it was it was a, it was okay to watch, you know, for the most part. And yeah, look forward to seeing what happens on Monday night. 